up you guys, it's Julia. Welcome back to my channel. I'm home, I'm home from Europe, finally, and I'm filming a little get ready with me today on my makeup. I'm going to actually be filming some videos today, shooting some photos and other stuff for my channel and my Instagram. So, I thought I'd do a little chatty catch up while I did my makeup, and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Oh, hello, hello, how are we all? This is the first get ready with me I filmed in a while at my actual home because I have been gone literally for two months. This is my Tatcha primer, just priming around my nose. That's usually where I get the biggest pores. So I'm actually going to be filming some videos today. So I wanted to do my makeup and actually like, usually on off days I try to do a little bit lighter makeup well i mean not really but i recently picked up this becca aqua luminous foundation in the shade light and i love this foundation i have it in the shade tan you guys know i use that one all the time i just really like it because it's super sheer and glowy and i've been mixing it with the tan color so i have light and tan which is like the two probably like one really light shade and one really dark shade and I just kind of mix them so okay so I did a little bit of light a little bit of tan and a little bit of my bobbi brown I know that's like so extra but it's just what I like to do the bobbi brown kind of makes it last a little bit longer and the other two kind of give it like a nice sheer glow speaking of I ordered the NARS sheer glow foundation because my favorite gals on YouTube Sophie and Chinzia love it and also negan negan mizraheli i think that's her name she's dutch she's a huge instagrammer she loves it as well so i was like i guess i have to order it because my two favorites love it and it's actually so funny because i love watching sophia and chincia i always loved negan and i love sophia and chincia and then i found out that sophia and chincia love negan and i was like that's really weird i just felt like even more connected to them when I found that out. So that was really funny. They love her too. So I'm like, I guess that makes sense. If you really like someone or you're drawn to them, then why wouldn't you like the same people? Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? So I'm just applying like a really light layer of this. I find that if you apply a really light layer, it like really melts into your face really well. And it's really nice. It looks like real skin. So anyways, yes, I'm so happy to be back. Um, I actually wanted to apologize slightly for kind of the lack of uploads when I was in Europe. I feel like Europe kind of threw off my YouTube game a little bit. It was really, really challenging to stay um, on my YouTube schedule when I was in Europe. And honestly, you guys, like I have been traveling so much that I, when I got to Europe, I don't know what it was, but to be quite frank, I was feeling very anxious when I got there and really just like upset. I was so tired and um, I wasn't sleeping very much because I had really bad jet lag, which I explained in um, the vlogs. And there's more Paris vlogs coming this week. Hunter's working on editing those, so they are coming. We actually had so much footage that I think we need to break it up into at least two vlogs, but the Paris ones are totally my favorite. I feel like we enjoyed Paris the most, and you can, like, totally tell in the footage, like, it's just more fun and, like, funny, and, um, it's just it's really cute so definitely make sure to catch the paris vlogs if you haven't watched any of the europe vlogs but we do have one from germany and amsterdam up and those are really cool too if you like are interested in seeing what those places are like but um yeah i when we were in europe i just got really exhausted and it was just hard like shooting and doing a bunch of content when i was on vacation it just like kind of was challenging and for the first time I was kind of like whoa okay this is a lot to keep up and I know that I'm trying to like turn blogging into a career one day so like that's kind of what it takes but I just kind of had a little bit of a meltdown when I was there and it was just kind of like this is a lot to do like taking pictures every single second and capturing everything was just a lot for me and I got like a little bit overwhelmed so I 
apologize for kind of the lack of updates there but I kind of just needed that time to like I don't know I couldn't I couldn't do any more than I was doing I was like traveling and trying to plan like a trip every single day and like a schedule and I just couldn't like also just come home and every time I wanted to relax and rest like get another video up and I was just really stressed so um honestly that's just the reality of this kind of job so um I just wanted to be honest and that's kind of the deal there but I am feeling much better now that I'm home I feel like just normal and it's like manageable and I feel so much happier yeah I feel like so much happier and just like inspired again and motivated and really excited actually to film like a lot of videos and I'm like feeling normal again but I just had a moment there in Europe because I was just really tired and like burnt out and we had been traveling so much it just like all came crashing down at once so that's that um anyways on a more positive note yeah we are so happy to be home we're back um weekly vlogging i actually miss the weekly vlogs at my house like so much i like love those weekly vlogs um so those will be coming back in full swing right after the european vlogs are done which will probably be i think we'll probably get both of the paris ones up by the end of this week um and then it'll go back to normal weekly vlogs like at our house in Texas so that will be nice um what else is coming up I am actually going to LA for work on Wednesday just Wednesday through Sunday and Sunday is actually my birthday but I'm coming back early Sunday morning and then um I'll be celebrating my birthday with Hunter and then he actually is off to San Francisco so this is my last trip for a really long time, thankfully, um, until like the holidays and Thanksgiving with my family. And then we're spending, I think, Christmas here. So um, yeah, I'm almost through the travel season. It was just really intense and it was a lot of travel. So I love traveling. It just um, did catch up to me a little bit. So it got a little hard there for a second, but I do love travel. It's just crazy when it all happens at once. Um, I'm using the Anastasia bronzer in Rosewood. I've been really liking this bronzer. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I'd rebuy it, but I also just like love trying different bronzers. I just ordered, so I placed like a little bit of an order on Sephora. I got the Narshier Glow. I got a Charlotte Tilbury lip pencil in Pillow Talk, which I've been dying to try her products. I really, really want to try them. Um, and then I also got, what else did I get? Oh, uh, a Dior bronzer, which I'm so excited about. So I'll show those when they come in. But I've recently gone back to this Too Faced palette. I'm absolutely in love with it. I was looking back on old videos and I was like, that's what I was using on my cheeks and it looked so good and I just forgot. This is their Sweet Peach Glow palette. And I love the blush and the highlight. And then I love to use the bronzer. Um, on my eyes and actually should try the bronzer on my cheeks I just never have I feel like it has actually does it have shimmer in it I don't know if I have shimmer in it but it's so good and the highlighter is amazing let me put the highlighter on it's like so soft the highlighter and everything is like if you're my skin tone the colors are just like perfect because um they're really soft and they don't look too harsh I think for a while there I was using like my blushes were a little bit too dark and it just doesn't look as like airbrushed and like flawless when um when you use stuff that's like not the right shade so I just realized that this was like the prettiest softest colors I look a little bit blown out right now because the lights but I'm getting ready to film so I'm like setting my lights sorry about that but yeah it just looks really nice and like like a soft glam which is what I love um and then I just go into the bronzer with my eyeshadow brush and I just kind of rub that through the crease and on the outer edge of the eye. See? Just like right there. 
So yes, I'm getting ready to film some videos today and I'm also planning. Um, I've been like kind of thinking about content for the rest of the year, like all my fall content and winter and stuff. So please leave your video requests below or if you guys have ideas or things that you really wanna see. Um, I know I always ask this and I look at every single response like I, love it because i'm so curious what you guys want to see i also ask over on my instagram but i feel like people here are like the writer dies so i want to know what you guys want to see especially um because i want to make those videos for you guys everyone's like home decor and that is coming too i have been doing some decorating as you can see the little flowers behind me wait oh it came out of frame See how pretty they are i just did that diy flower arrangement and i put it on my instagram um if you're curious for like how i did it but it's so cute and i love it um okay that's pretty much it and putting on actually before i spray my mascara i'm going to spray my fix plus i got this in france it's in, it'll be in the paris vlogs but um i forgot a mist at, I left my mist at my best friend's house in California when I was there before our Europe trip and I was like dying without the face mist on our vacation like literally it's my favorite beauty product in the world and I was so mad that um I forgot it because I felt like I couldn't do my makeup without it it was like torture um yeah it's just looking pretty nice sorry my office so much stuff i need to shoot and it's raining outside it has been raining for like three days straight four days straight and it's gonna keep going all week so i guess luckily i'm going to la i actually kind of like the rain because i work from home so it's like cozy to be inside when <laughs> it's raining out but when i need to shoot instagram photos it is not convenient at all so um I need to figure something out. I'm gonna have to like literally watch when it stops raining and I'm gonna have to run outside and get my photos because I have a dress that a brand sent me that I need to shoot today because they wanted it to go up. So I need to do that. Um, but yeah, it's been really getting wintry quickly. It's like 39 degrees out, it's so freaking cold. Um, just putting bronzer under my eyes. I rounded out a bit. This is the L'Oreal um, True Match Lumi Bronze It. I really like this bronzer. I would absolutely love the bronzer if it came in a matte. If you're watching L'Oreal, which you're not, um, that would be like the best bronzer of all time if it just didn't have any glitter in it because it has shimmer. That's the only thing I don't like. But the shimmer is actually really uh, faint, so... It's actually fine, but I'm using this Tarte Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. I actually really like it. Looks very natural in the way that it like separates the lashes. See? Looks pretty good, huh? Okay, and then I want to show you guys the lips that I've been obsessed with. Let me grab it from my purse. So many lip products that I've been liking, but um this one especially I'm obsessed with. So this is Laura Mercier Hazelnut Tea. Um, I also got this inspired by Negan, but um, I actually, oh, I forgot to use my new eyeshadow palette. Dang it, I got the Morphe eyeshadow palette, Bronzed Babe. Maybe I'll add a little bit of brown to my eyes when I'm my mascara is dry, but I'm freaking obsessed with this. How pretty is it? It's like the prettiest brown neutral shades and I like that it's just like nine things so it's like really small and perfect for travel. Um, but yeah, I've been loving this hazelnut tea and what I'll do is just over a line in the center on the top and the bottom and I find that that looks way more natural. And kind of blend it in with my finger and then just go underneath my lip a little bit. 
kind of rub it. Just in the center though, on the side, I follow the lines. Okay. And then I also been loving the Laura Mercier lip gloss in the shade Sparkling, which normally I wouldn't go for a sparkly lip gloss, but this one's like nude with just like a really light shimmer. And it's so pretty. Totally natural. And sometimes I'll just go over after I put on the lip gloss because I can like see the lip line a little bit better and I'll just kind of fix it. So I love that lip combo. Um, uh, somebody from Laura Mercier sent me a ton of really amazing products. So I am trying to get through all of them and try them. But the lips ones I've been friggin obsessed with all their lip products um okay, i'm just gonna take some of this like brown uh the color road trip kind of deepen up my eyes a little bit because i'm filming i can amp it up a little bit because nothing really shows up on camera so always looks like really intense in person and then you're like on camera and you look like you're wearing no makeup it's crazy yeah that's pretty Oh, sorry, and also I don't think I showed, but the um, the loose powder that I used under my eyes was Cover FX, and the face powder that I used was obviously my Sephora collection. Absolutely love this powder, it's my favorite, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned everything else. Um, if not, I will have it linked in the description box down below. But let me get out of those blaring lights so you can kind of see this a little bit better. Ah, there we go, you can see the makeup now. Isn't that so pretty? Look at the lip. It's like a perfect peachy nude. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the little get ready with me. I know it was kind of quick, um, but I've got lots of videos to film. And uh, uh, please leave your requests below. I'm excited to see what you guys want to hear from me and what you want to see from me. And get ready for... Um, just a normal YouTube schedule with consistent videos. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And you can keep up with me on Instagram while I'm in LA and stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple days in the next video. Bye.